Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to transform footage from day to night. Quick disclaimer on this is that it cannot be accomplished for all shots. It gets very, very difficult if you've captured the sky in your shot, and that's just because the sun and the moon act differently. So to try to transform the sun to make it look like the moon is almost near impossible. I'm sure if you spent a lot of time and you had a really nice camera that recorded it, you might be able to pull something off. But the key here is that shoot the footage without the sky in it, and then you can actually do some pretty neat effects to change it into night. This is the footage, the end footage, what we're trying to get right here. You see this looks like it could have actually been shot at night with a full moon probably due to the lighting, um, and that's what it's always going to kind of turn out because the sun's there. It's always going to look like a full moon is happening. You'll see that the original footage was this, and so the stark contrast here um, is actually pretty good. And if you tie this in with context with other night shots or other shots that kind of look like this, you can really pull off the effect and no one will even think that this was shot during the day. So then, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and create myself a new sequence. Go over here, new sequence. Okay, we're just going to drag the footage in to change the sequence settings. Um, and so we're going to take this footage, drag it in. We're going to hit change sequence settings here, zoom it in some. And so here we have our footage. The first thing we need to do is we need to create ourselves a new adjustment layer. So select the properties, um, the media browser over here, what your project is. You'll have the blue box here. And what we're going to do is we can go up to File, New, and then Adjustment Layer, or we can right-click right into the empty space and click New Item and Adjustment Layer. What Adjustment Layer is, is a transparent video that we can add effects to, and it'll work um, by applying those effects to everything beneath it. So what this you know, allows us to do is we can create one adjustment layer for an entire edited clip. So, you know, there could be 18 clips in here. We could just apply one adjustment layer and then do minor modifications to try to bring them together. And this also makes it non-destructive. So if we put in a bunch of different effects into here, we could drag the adjustment layer off and it's back to its original format. Or we could drag it around. We could move things around like opacity and stuff and it never affects the original piece of footage. So then let's get started. Now we have our adjustment layer selected. It's our transparent video. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to add Lumetri to it. So if you go into effects, what you want to do is if you search Lumetri, it's going to bring up like a thousand of the presets and everything like that. So what, the easiest way to go is video effects, color correction, and then just find Lumetri color. You can also go into the color tab and it'll open it up on the right and it'll automatically add it to the layer. M might be a good idea to do. Um, I, however, am just going to stick with the editing sort of workflow right now because it's sort of the default and I want to stick, uh, remove as many variables as possible here. So Lumetri is open over here on the left. The first thing we want to do is we want to go into basic correction. And what we want to do is we want to drop that exposure way down. We're going to go like a minus 2.8 because this, um, this isn't the day. So we need to reduce that light coming in. Uh, it's night out. And this actually is very good to make it look kind of cloudy and a little bit dim and dreary out, you can see. Uh, let me unlink this so we don't hear this. You'll see that it actually kind of pulls off a really neat effect where, like I said, it looks cloudy, a little bit more dreary. You could add a couple of little more effects to this and kind of create a style from this just by reducing the, the exposure. But that's not what we want to do. So what we're going to do is after we've reduced that exposure, we're going to actually bump up the contrast. We're going to bump it up really high up here to maybe like 95 and the reason is at night, any light carries a lot stronger than during the day because not everything's reflecting. So at night, the highlights should be really bright and the blacks should be really black. Um, the water should be reflecting the most light and everything else, it should kind of dissipate really quickly. So we want to really stretch that out and bring that contrast out. Next thing we're going to do is we actually want to bump those shadows up just a little bit, give a little bit more light to them, some detail to them. Um, as well because we're still kind of doing this thing so we want to stretch it out but if there's a little bit of light it's going to actually bounce off and kind of increase the brightness of everything so the shadows shouldn't be pitch black they should just be a couple touches away from pitch black the next thing we want to do is we want to drop this saturation down at night you lose light which means you lose color you lose color definition so having 100 percent just does not look realistic having these this green does not make it look like it's a forest at night now when we drop it down to like maybe around 61 60, 61, 62, somewhere around there, you see that that's kind of what, if you think about nighttime, that's kind of what it sees. Like you look at a tree and you're like, those are green, but they're not entirely green. You just kind of know that it's a couple uh, steps away from gray in the green direction. And that's where we want this to be. 
So we've got the kind of the lighting down here. That's what we were doing right here. We we're setting up the lighting. So now let's finish it off with a little bit of curve correction. Curves, uh, you can drag the curves function in here and do it for there, but Lumetri has it, so we're gonna go with this. What we wanna do is we wanna take this top one right here. This is the highlights. This is uh, white is gonna be our brightness throughout this thing. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna drop it down to maybe about 75%. And then I'm gonna drag one out here and bring it out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take another one and bring this down some, let's actually go like this maybe. And yeah, that's kind of looking pretty good there. You can use the active button to turn it off and on. And so what we're doing is we're kind of taking that really bright shine off of things. And we're adjusting the coloring just a little bit. Um, the brightness is a little bit more into the favor that we want it to be, what night would look like. So we're removing some of that sharpness off the brightness and then just kind of correcting everything else. Now, Hollywood kind of agrees that blue is the color of night. Anyone who's been outside at night understands that the moon's light is white with maybe a tiny hint of blue, but it's just been agreed upon that blue equals night. So what we can do is we can actually click in the middle here, just drag it a touch in the blue direction and take this red, drag it a touch in the opposite direction, maybe a little bit more in the blue direction here. And it gives just sort of a blue hint to things here. And you'll notice that now, for some reason, it just looks a little bit more like night. And that's just because that's what all media has agreed upon night looks like. So we kind of want to go with that as well. So now, as you see, with just those effects, we are actually getting a pretty neat nighttime effect going on here. Um, this is already passing pretty well as what nighttime would look like. Under the bridge, it's almost pitch black, which is kind of where it would be. We got a nice bright spot where the light is naturally reflecting. And what's cool is since we just lowered the exposure down, everything just came down at the same rate, which just makes it like the sun is a lot dimmer, which makes it look like the moon. So we got the lighting, we got the coloring down. And now kind of an effect I like to just throw into this is add noise to it. So we're going to degrade our footage. We're going to add something bad to it. And the reason we're doing this is because Anyone who shoots at night, even with like a red epic or anything, if the lighting isn't perfect, you're going to get noise. It just has to bump up the ISO, and when that happens, you get noise. So to make this, to pull it off more realistically, we're actually going to add noise to this shot. And adding noise will make it look, like I said, just that much more realistic. Go back and look at, um, for example, I'm thinking... If you check some of the footage in the Hunger Games, the first one, it actually looks like they did a lot of day to night stuff. Um, and if they didn't, you can notice in the dark spots there is some of this grain. Even with their high powered cameras, there is the grain there. So what we want to do is we want to add that grain to keep that realism going so that there isn't any element in here that throws people's perception of nighttime off. And then the next thing we want to do, the final thing we want to do, is we want to actually go here and we're going to drop down curves because what we want to use is vignette. You can create your vignette in a thousand different ways in Premiere Pro. Um, what I did for the, the first one here is I actually, whoops, deleted it off there, um, this one. What I did for this one was I actually created a black video and then I just used an opacity filter, so this right here. Um, I dragged the circle out so it's a circle, then I feathered it, then I reduced the opacity of a black video. Um, kind of gives you the, the effect and maybe a little bit more control, but we can do the easy way. And the easy way is just to use Lumetri's built-in vignette right here. So what we want to do is this goes to white. That's not the effect that we want to go unless it's like a dream sequence. I mean, looks kind of cool, but that's not the way we want to go. We want to go the opposite way. We want to go black. We really want to darken these edges out to make the edges look like they're they're black and maybe we're lighting the center a little bit. So you can see um, if you want to go to like the midpoint, we'll bring it in closer to the 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 inside here, and then we can actually so we can bring the midpoint down to zero, bring the amount almost to full, and then really feather this out. And let's reduce the amount a little bit more. And there we go. Now we got this like. The center is kind of lit, but the rest of it is really this encroaching darkness. And that's really important for nighttime shots because a lot of time you're only lighting the subject and the rest of it is by default because the center is more lit, the contrast on the outsides will make them less lit. So we can accomplish that with the vignette. And just like that, we have accomplished shooting 
a nighttime shot. And you'll notice that it's actually pretty neat because this water originally, if we reduce the thing here and look at it, the water was, it's clear, it's reflecting the brown of the rocks here. But at the nighttime shot, it looks like what nighttime water would look like, this black moving there. And we got the, the contrast and stuff working well. We have the detail and the edges removed. This overall looks like a great nighttime shot. So you'll notice though, I'm gonna show you the contrast and this is why you need to not shoot the sky. So if I just drag in a new piece of footage here, you'll notice that with these exact effects, because we have an adjustment layer here, we didn't touch the footage, it doesn't look very accomplished. And that's because we're getting some direct sunlight coming in from above and we're shooting the sky. And you'll notice that the moon is never this bright, so it'll never accomplish this. Uh, if you shoot the, the sun, especially the sun directly like this. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to make a day to night shot, try to not put in the, the, uh, the sky. A way to kind of fix this might be um, to scale it up so that you don't have that in there. But of course, you're going to lose quality like this and it's going to just look zoomed in. But if you really need to do something like that, you can zoom it up and try to remove the sky from that. Otherwise, don't capture the sky if you're going to be doing this. Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that, um, taking a piece of footage and turning it from day into night. I hope you can use it in any of the productions you're doing. If you want to see more Adobe related content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you got any questions, comments, or ideas for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below. And until next time guys, see ya.